Ahoy, mateys! It's me, Angel Benton, and today is the day you've all been waiting for. This is the day where I do my recap of Below Deck. Um, for those of you that don't know the show, Below Deck is a show all about yachties, people that work on yachts. Uh, the original Below Deck right now, the one that's airing, is uh, takes place in the Caribbean, and the, it is even spawned off its own um, spinoff, which is called Below Deck Mediterranean, which is about the med. Uh, and I do want to start off today by apologizing to um, my girl Hannah from Below Deck Med because I really wanted to start this series when that show was on so that I could give recaps of that show, but I never got around to it. So I apologize for that. But the good news is, is that that show is coming back for season two. So I will be definitely getting all of the good stuff there. Now... Below deck. So, first things first, everybody loves Captain Lee. I love Captain Lee. I respect him as a boss. My mom loves Captain Lee. And I mean, loves Captain Lee. I know he's married and she knows he's married, but he's just real nice for her to look at. So, you know, <laughs> good for her. Good for her, right? Um, Actually, let's talk about the elephant that's in the room. Okay, actually, hold on. And get my booze. <laughs> so, when I, every day I work, a long day at work, come home, take a shower, watch some television, get blitzed and do this show. So, that's that's how I live. That's because I, I, I like to live like that. So, anyways, okay, so, Kate... Kate is the chief stewardess, and apparently she's a lesbian now. Well, I don't know about that, because she, you know, had previously just dated men. Now she's got a girlfriend, and she's very happy with her girlfriend. So, you know, she doesn't like to put labels on herself. And, you know, here's something. I used to work in gay porn, not as a porn star. I did marketing, thank you. Um, but I know that... Sexuality is a very wide spectrum. So there are, you know, some people who are, because, you, you know, there are going to be people who will be like, oh, well, she was in the closet the whole time. That's why none of her previous relationships with men worked, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, that might not be. I mean, you don't know. Unless you're walking in their shoes, you don't know. And I think it's wonderful the fact that everybody on the boat just accepted that she's with the chick now. And and she's got a, a flirtation with the chef, Ben. Love me some Ben. He's hilarious. He's this witty little English chef who's so damn cute. Um, they've got this, you know, they have a, they had a little fling. And um, I think that the ice. Well, anyways, but cheers. Cheers to you, uh, Kate, for defying stereotypes. Good for you. I'm having a little of my kinky gold. Tomorrow I'll drink something different. <laughs> I have only had different kinds of kinky, and you're probably thinking, is there anything else? Yeah, I've got other stuff too. Okay, so back to Kate. I love Kate, just like I love Hannah. I love the chief stewardesses, really. They're pretty great. Um, although, what's funny, here's the funny thing about Kate. So... Bef the very first season of Below Deck, they had a chief stewardess named Adrian, and the big rumor was that Adrian was a lesbian, and that rumor turned kind of turned out to not be true. But no one ever said that about Kate, and Kate's now the one with the girlfriend. Who knew, right? Uh, so Kate and Ben are back. You know, they have been there every season. Well, no, Kate wasn't there the first season. Ben was there the first season. He was there the second season. And then last season, he wasn't there for the first half of it, but then he ended up replacing Leon. Beef Cheeks Leon. If you watch the show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and then he was also on Below Deck Med. So he was kind of the one that crossed over to create that spinoff. Um, so they're returning. Also, uh, Kelly... I don't know if you know Kelly, uh, but if you read, what is that blog, the OMG blog, if you read the OMG blog, then you've seen pictures of Kelly. Let's just leave it at that. And they're mighty fine pictures, actually. He looks real good, real, real nice. 
um, he's back and he's now in charge of all of the deckhands. So he's now the bosun. So that's really exciting for him, but it's his first time doing that particular job. So he's, you know, nervous. And that is, that is very relatable and understandable when you're in a new position to be nervous. You know, you want to do, especially if it's something that you want to do a good job at. I think it's great. Okay, so then those are the only people that are returning. Kelly wasn't on last season, but he was on the season before. And I, I do want to say I'm a little disappointed that they did have not brought back David. Because I love me some David. David from season one and the second half of season three. But here's the thing. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so the, there's the other people on the show, right? So there's... This one guy named Trevor, who is the senior deckhand. Okay. Okay. Really? Wow. He's a lot. He's a lot. And then there's another one who is named Nico. Totally cute. Really sweet and funny. And then there's a chick named Lauren, who's Australian. She's on the deck crew. And she's pretty fierce, too. Um... So I, I'm enjoying the deckhand. Well, except for Trevor. I'm enjoying the deckhands. And then for the stewardesses, there is uh, Emily, who is, uh, in, in, is she English or Australian? I think she's English. I don't know. Or maybe she is. No, I think. She, no, she's English. Yeah, she's English, I think. <laughs> Whatever. I'm lit. What do I care? Okay, so then at the uh, the last one is she just got on at the very end, and the, her name is I swear to God Sierra Storm, right? Now, do you, I don't know if you watched Real Housewives of Orange County or not, but you know Shannon's maiden name is Storm, so she was Shannon Storm, and now there's C, uh, an actual girl named Sierra Storm. I wonder if they're related. They might be. They look very kind of similar. Like Sierra looks like a slightly younger version of Shannon. The, hmm. I didn't even think of that until just now. But what I find real interesting is that there's always conflict in the, in the stewardesses between the chief stew and the third stew. In season one, it was between Adrian and Sammy. I didn't really have a, a horse in that race. I really didn't care if they tore each other apart, be perfectly honest with you. Second season, it was between Kelly's sister, Amy, uh, yeah, Kelly's sister, Amy, and Kate, but they ended up working through it and ended up becoming really good friends. So that was good. And then last season, it was between Rocky, remember Rocky Dakota? This is, okay, this is my impression of Rocky doing, okay, so they had these, you know, they, you know, filmed them doing their lives or whatever, and then they showed them doing confessionals where they talk right to the camera, right? And every time that Rocky would talk to the camera, she would totally look up and she would never look at the camera ever, ever and i'm thinking girl what the fuck is on that ceiling that is so damn interesting that it's taking all of your fucking focus it reminded me a lot of audrina ceiling eyes patridge sidebar okay so the hills i'm doing a shout out to the hills which i always knew was fake before even the hills even existed and when it was laguna beach i knew that it was fake okay but the thing about the hill uh, the hills did you ever see they had a video, a viral video of these little kids that reenact, you know, famous TV shows and movies and stuff. And one of and they did the hills and the girl that played um, ceiling eyes was hilarious. She was const she was she never, ever, ever looked down the entire time. She was always looking up. Oh, my God. She was she was hysterical. She's like six. I mean, like it was it was really good. Um, so like I said, Trevor, I kind of can't stand him already because he's like, you can tell when he like, so Kelly's in charge of all the deck crew, but he's like, yeah, I'm the senior deckhand. First of all, this is the third season. I've never heard anybody called that ever. And second of all, like, for example, Nico had, who is very tall, had taken the top bunk and Trevor was like, no. It's my bunk because I'm I'm top. I'm in I'm in charge of you. Blah blah blah. It's like I I don't want to go into too much detail about that because you'll you'll need to see that and judge for yourself. 
And I'm I'm going to tell you to tell you this too. This is was at just episode one, so you never know who's going to go home. So I could tell you I'm really upset that David's not on the show, but maybe he'll come back. I kind of don't think so because it is uh, it's not it wouldn't be real like the show to bring the same person back two seasons in a row. Um, but you never know. You never know who's going to get replaced. Last year, Leon got replaced. One of the deckhands got replaced. So you never know. So I'm looking forward to it. And I'm definitely looking forward to this season. So make sure that you watch Below Deck on Bravo. Tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about Days of Our Lives. Okay, so you all have a wonderful day. And I will catch you ashore later.